Good day, my little mates. I want to introduce you to my assistant. She's me, Sheila, and her name is Sheila. Good night, man. Today, we're going to explore Noah's Ark. You know, many people believe that Noah's Ark looks something like this. But did you know that's not what the Bible says? What we have here is a scale model of what the Bible says the ark looked like. Now I need everybody to stay back so everybody can get to look at it. This, notice the shape of this. It looks like a box, doesn't it? That's because the word ark in Hebrew actually means box. Did you know that Moses put the Ten Commandments in a box? It was also called an ark. Okay, now I need everybody to sit back down. Come on, so everybody gets to see. Come on, off the, off the top. Come on. You guys can still stand up as long as you're back far enough so everybody can get to see. Now, notice the animals right here. See how large the ark is compared to the animals? Because God would have sent Noah young animals. And that means he would have sent young dinosaurs. And all the dinosaurs started off small. Because God wanted the animals to live as long as possible after the flood. So they could make lots of babies and repopulate the earth with animals. So then the dinosaurs could fit on the ark. Yes, in fact, a scientist by the name of Dr. Henry Morris figured out that Noah would need at the most about 35,000 different kinds of animals. But guess what? Now come on, come on, let's scoot on back, guys. Come on, let's scoot back so everybody can see. Come on, come on, come on. Give me room to walk. That only takes up about 28% of the volume of the ark. Those 35,000 animals only take about 28% of the volume of the ark. Well, 28%, how much is that? That means that left all the rest of the ark for food, water, Noah's family, and anyone who would have turned from their sins and listened to Noah and come on board the ark. Well, why would they need so much food and water? Weren't they on the ark for only 40 days and 40 nights? No, actually it only get rained for 40 days and 40 nights, but they were on the ark for over a year. Now, did you know that a lot of people don't believe that the water covered the entire earth. The scientists say that the planet Mars was completely flooded. You're right. Scientists believe that the planet Mars was at one time completely had a, a worldwide flood that shaped the surface of Mars. But you know what? There is no water on Mars right now. And we don't know what happened to it. But the earth has... 70% uh, of the surface of the earth is covered with water. And during the flood, the mountains were pushed down and the bottoms of the oceans were brought up. Yeah, in fact, when God pushed the mountains down and he pushed the oceans up, if the earth were smooth today, the water would cover the earth to a depth of 1.7 miles. That's, that's how deep it would be. You know what? That's a lot of water. And we see that, that uh, scientists believe that Mars had a worldwide flood, but they reject that the Earth could have a worldwide flood when we've got plenty of water to show that we could flood the whole world. And obviously the ark is large enough to be able to carry all of those animals. And you know what? Sometimes when we look at a, a, a picture like that, we think, oh, that's silly. There's no way that Noah could have gotten all those animals in there. But when we know what the Bible really says, it's easy to believe. And for moms and dads tonight, we're going to be talking some more about creation. And so if you want to see some more facts about why you can believe that God created the world and he created it in six days, I get to preach tonight. So I'll see you guys tonight. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the truth of your word and the facts 
that it contains. And Father, we just pray that you would help these children to always remember what your word says about Noah's Ark. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.